Another day, another article about the side effects of Ozempic. Ozempic is the weight loss drug that has taken the world by storm. And today we're talking about Ozempic butt. What in the heck is Ozempic butt? Recently we had articles about Ozempic face and now we've got Ozempic butt. I don't know what's next. We're gonna talk about what Ozempic is, what it does, and why it might cause Ozempic butt, whatever that is. We're gonna find out. Let's dive into the article. In order to understand what Ozempic butt is, let's first understand what Ozempic is. Ozempic is a drug that has been on the market primarily for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Individuals with type 2 diabetes are not producing enough insulin to manage the sugar that is in their blood vessels from their diet. And that inappropriate storage of sugar often leads to fat accumulation, which leads to other microvascular complications, can lead to blindness, neuropathy, uh, increased risk of heart attack, stroke, all cardiovascular disease, even cancers may be at higher risk when you are at a type 2 diabetic level. So Ozempic was designed to help mimic a hormone in your body called glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1. So Ozempic, the generic name is semaglutide, is a GLP-1 agonist, meaning it acts like GLP-1. What this hormone does in the body is it tells your brain you have eaten, that your stomach is full. And when your brain thinks that your stomach is full, it says, I'm not hungry. And so individuals who are taking Ozempic, they tend to eat less because they have less of an appetite. This is really good when you have type 2 diabetes because those individuals can't process the food in the right way and they have inappropriate fat accumulation, inappropriate energy storage, and they're not using the sugar in the right way. They also found that individuals who are taking this drug often lost weight from it. And so it was natural that celebrities jumped on the trend and started to take Ozempic to lose weight because when you think you're full, you're not gonna eat much. And some of these celebrities really didn't have a lot of weight to lose. They just wanted to be super skinny, again, perpetuating this unattainable Hollywood lifestyle. The drug was so successful that the owners of the drug made a new name of it called Wegovi at a higher dose, specifically marketed for individuals with weight loss. Now, the fervor around Ozempic and Wegovi caused the drug to go on really limited supply as everybody was trying to get it, that it actually became difficult for some individuals with diabetes who needed the medication to actually get it. In addition to telling your brain that you're full, that does a few other things. It helps your pancreas to produce more insulin to manage the sugar that is in your system. It tells your stomach to slow down on emptying those nutrients from the stomach into the small intestine. And that whole cascade of things often contributes to weight loss. Ultimately, what we see is that there is a calorie reduction. And that's the key to weight loss for most people is that you need to take in less calories than you burn in order to lose weight. So what happens when you begin to lose weight? Well, your body still wants to prioritize nutrient distribution to the most important bodily functions. It has to keep your brain working appropriately. It has to keep your heart working appropriately. And if you're not taking in enough nutrients to meet those basic demands, your body's gonna find it from somewhere. And that often comes from your fat stores. Your fat stores can be converted into carbohydrates, into glucose that can be used throughout your body. But in addition, you're gonna need some protein and things. And if you're not consuming enough protein and you're not trying to build and preserve your muscles and your bones, you can actually start to get sarcopenia or muscle loss while you're on a rapid weight loss, whether that's from Ozempic or any other cause, and you can get osteopenia or a reduction in bone density because some of those nutrients are gonna be taken to serve other purposes in the body. We've all seen stories of individuals who had rapid or sustained weight loss that they were really big, you know, the 600 pound individuals on the TLC shows, and they have a lot of loose, sagging skin afterwards. And this is just a simple biological function that as we get bigger and we gradually accumulate those pounds, the skin is stretched. And the skin stretches, the collagen in our skin, the elastin in our skin starts to get stretched and it only has so much ability to recover. And if you lose weight very gradually, that can slowly recover with time. But if you lose weight rapidly, your collagen and elastin cannot fully recover. And if you were very, very big, even with very gradual weight loss, you're probably gonna have some significant overlying skin that is going to sag. And that's really all this article is talking about with Ozempic butt, is that when people start to lose weight rapidly, they're going to have some loose and sagging skin. 
And for me, this gets into the problem with the media and Hollywood perception of Ozempic. We look at this as purely an aesthetic thing. And that's why we're concerned about Ozempic face and we're concerned about Ozempic butt because we look at this and say, this is a disruption in the aesthetic of the individual. And we're not looking at the health implications of successful and sustained weight loss. We know that individuals who have higher body weights over long periods of time do have an increased risk of all-cause mortality. And so I do like to celebrate people that lose weight and can keep it off because they often feel better and they often are able to have a more healthy and productive life. Of course, this isn't true in every case and you're going to find outliers of people who are very big that live very healthy for a very long time and you're gonna find people who are very thin and frail and they don't live very long. But when we're talking statistics as a whole, this is just simply how it is. So if you are gonna be taking Ozempic or Wegovi or Manjaro, one of the other competitors in this market, what I would encourage you to do is to not escalate your dose too quickly. And of course, I'm generally not the one prescribing this, so talk to your family doctor or your endocrinologist about this. It is important during any weight loss regimen that you implement lifestyle changes to help support that weight loss regimen, and that is a healthy diet. Even though it may be more difficult to eat the right foods while you're on these medications, it's important to start to implement those habits. Additionally, I highly recommend weight training while you're taking Ozempic or Manjaro or Wegovi because you want to trigger your body and tell it that it's important to preserve the muscles and put the stress on the bones so that you preserve that bone density. You may then notice that you have a change in body composition that doesn't necessarily lead to as much sagging skin if you're able to build a little bit of muscle while you're losing some of that fat. The older that you get, the harder it is to build muscle and to build bone density. So if you're able to preserve what you have through a successful weight training regimen while you're losing that weight, you are going to fare better. Now, if you've gone through one of these medications or for any other reason have had some sagging skin due to weight loss, there are a few procedures you could look at doing in order to help manage that, and that could include radiofrequency, microneedling, all the way up to complete excision of that skin, usually done with a plastic surgeon. So you can seek out those treatments, and I recommend discussing those issues with a board-certified dermatologist or with a board-certified plastic surgeon to determine what would be right for you. The important thing is make the changes that help you to be healthier inside and out, and don't worry about the aesthetic of maybe some sagging skin, because the benefits that you will gain from improving your health will far outweigh any change in body composition that might have Hollywood questioning your worth, because your worth is not determined by them, it's all determined by how you feel about yourself. And you are worthy of loving yourself and of receiving love from other people. So don't worry about what Hollywood has to say about Ozempic butt or Ozempic face or whatever problem that they will come up with next. Take care of yourself and be healthy. If this video has been helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll have another video here that you can watch to continue to stay healthy. Thank you for joining and I'll see you on the next video.